Delaware is a very unique state in as much as all of the fire departments in the entire state with the exception of the city of Wilmington are volunteer fire companies. I would say that there's probably nothing more uh, that uh, somebody can give back to their community than being a volunteer fireman. My name is Bob Ricker. Uh, my wife Teresa and I are the owners of Baker's Ace Hardware here in Millsboro, Delaware and I am also a, a member of Georgetown Fire Company and Millsboro Fire Company, past chief of Georgetown Fire Company. I also used to be the fire commissioner for the entire state of Delaware. Jake Ricker, I'm the general manager of our outdoor fire equipment division and I've been a volunteer firefighter for about 19 years. My name is Tyler Rodimo, I'm a mechanic here at the store and I'm a volunteer firefighter. Hi, my name is Connor McGee and I've been working here at Baker's Hardware for seven years now. Um, I've been working here since I was 14 and also been volunteer with the Millsboro Fire Department since I was 14 as well. Started with their junior program. I used to have a business myself and it's, it's, hard, it's, it's really unique that an owner allowed the employees to take off from their job to go serve at a fire company to serve someone else that they don't even have a clue who they are maybe or, or no relationship or whatever. That tells you a lot of volume with Bob. It's unique here at the store when an alarm comes in and we all will look at our phones or pagers or whatnot because we all four work in different places in the store. And then Connor runs that way, Bob runs that way, I run that way because we all park in different areas. Both Connor and Tyler are both well trained. They've been trained throughout the ranks up to officers' positions. It's very reassuring to turn around and look in the back of the truck or look on the display in the truck and see who's in the back of the truck to see those two guys in the back of the truck. You know, a father sometimes, you know, never tells his son directly, but a lot of people told me, you know, and I knew how, you know, how proud he was. And our, our gear actually hangs alongside of each other. I can't tell you how many times I've left here in the middle of the day and responded to a fire or an accident and gotten there and the person who's having the emergency will look at me and go, aren't you the hardware store guy? And a lot of the folks can't equate the volunteer fire service. There's a word there that we talk about, it's volunteer. So these are folks that are willing to put their lives at risk for nothing. They have to go to training, annual in-service training for nothing. They give up their weekends off and their nights away from their families and they're not getting paid. These are people that are willing to do those things when we're living in a time now where there are fewer that will do that. It, it's, it's not bravery, it's not heroism. That's why you'll never hear a fireman ever say that he's a hero. When they try to bestow honors upon them for heroic deeds, you'll always hear them say these words, it's my job. And that's how we take it. If not for us, then who's going to do it? So the one very strong, overwhelming character that each firefighter has in this world is that they care. They care about the people they serve, they care about their community, and they care about their brother and sister firefighters.